Bright Suns, everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today, we're back at Disneyland and Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. We have not been here in over a month, probably two months. They've received a ton of shipments of new merchandise, new droids, and we're gonna show it all to you. And they're celebrating a special holiday here on Batu. It's not Christmas, it's not Hanukkah. It's called Life Day. It is a Star Wars holiday. They've got specialty foods. They got specialty drinks. They even have some Life Day merch, and we're so excited to check it all out. Come with us on this adventure. Galaxy's Edge. What we really want to get into is Ogie's Cantina because she has a new drink and a new food item. We don't have reservations, but we're hoping to get into the standby wait list. It's one of our pro tips. Check the app. If you don't have a reservation for Ogas, check throughout the day because spots do open up. Uh, hopefully we can get in there, but right now we're gonna go to Droid Depot because we hear there's some new droids. <laughs> <laughs> One of the new additions here in Joy Depot is Tropper from Star Wars Rebels, and I love him because he is such a little jerk. He's so grumpy. He's not like your typical droid. His voice is just like, he never wants to help. He's always like causing trouble, and he's just the best. That's why I love him. But now you can purchase him here. And uh, he's pretty cool looking. We don't have a chopper. Yeah, you can't make one of these, but you can buy it. Yeah. So I love his like little wheel. Oh yeah. The wheel on the front is different than like the R2's wheel. So we were talking to some of the cast members here and they actually said that he like, you could drive him easier because of that wheel for whatever reason. So if you're thinking about getting a droid, this might be a good option. I mean, I think we might. Why do I want it? Why do I want, why I want to adopt like every droid in here? <laughs> Watch out! Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> I never thought they would build one of these. That's no. crazy. Back in the day, we made a whole video, or two videos of things from the Mandalorian that should be in Galaxy's Edge. One of the things I don't even think we included, that I was going to include, didn't make the cut, was the fairy droid from the last episode of the Mandalorian. These were the ones that like, ferried them out that like lava stream. They look so ridiculous. I was like, there's no way they could build a fairy droid in Galaxy's Edge, but they have done it. You can move its arms. It comes with a, a head that's like an elevated head to match the, the design of the fairy droid. It can't walk around because that would be too ridiculous, but... But it looks cool. It looks so <laughs> cool. I just wanted to let you guys know that the body is not included. So this is just a droid accessory kit. So it comes with the legs and the head and the stick and stuff, but you need to actually have the droid body. They also have a bunch of other merch inside Droid Depot, including some shirts, some sweatshirts, just all sorts of different clothes. The thing I like about the, the clothing in Galaxy's Edge as a whole, is it kind of is like embellished with some like raised accents, which make it feel like a little bit more, you know, uh, you're paying a lot for a t-shirt in Disneyland. It feels like you're getting your money's worth. It's basically what I'm saying. 
So we did end up getting a time for Oga's on the wait list and our time has been called. So let's go get our drink and our grub on. I hate to tell you this, but you have a creature on your head. I do. His name is Screech and he yells at people for me. <laughs> what is he going? Uh -huh. Yeah, he's making noises right now. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> the name is DJ Rex and I'm piloting live from the cockpit here in Oga's Cantina all the way back to the far reaches of the other side of Black Spire Outpost. This set is brought to you by Savi and Sun Salvage. We'll take your scrap. Let's get this place back in orbit with a tribute to the Grand Dan and the Modal Nodes. Am I pronouncing anything correctly? had to try the new food here, which is in celebration of Life Day. They have the pork belly slider skewer. This is pork belly, bao buns, zucchini sauce, calabrian chili compote, and za'atar spice. I thought za'atar might be a Star Wars thing, but no, it's an actual spice on Earth. It's fine, it's good. Space food comes off your clothes when you spill it. I'm not sure if you know this, but I'm a connoisseur of pork belly, and this is good pork belly. It's tender. Uh, that's a tar spice, very spicy. So if you don't like spice, would not recommend it. This for you. I am someone who likes spice. Only two complaints. Comes on these uh, skewers for no reason. Makes it hard to, to eat as like a sandwich. And number two, it should have a Star Wars name. These things are going to be here until the end of the month. On but two, they're celebrating Life Day. It's normally only one day, but they're celebrating Life Day for a whole season. So you have time to get here and, get, and try this out. I'll give this a four and a half out of five, Peters. Very good. Also celebrating Life Day, they have a new specialty cocktail, and it is called the Gin Huckleberry Cocktail. That's what it says on the menu, but we actually got the receipt for it, and it's called the Tarkin Night. So I like that. And this has gin elderflower liqueur with flavors of ginger, huckleberry, and it's garnished with a sweet hibiscus flower. I'm honestly like the most excited to try this flower. Like it's so creepy looking. It almost feels like a, like a piece of candy or something. Like it's like sticky. To me it reminds me of that like thing that was in the bowl of soup that the child was eating. In the Mandalorian? Yeah. Yes. play with your food. Yeah, I'll save that for last. Ooh, this is good. I was worried because like, sometimes gin can be really overpowering, but this is really, really sweet. It almost tastes like cranberry juice. This gets a five out of five. This might be my new go-to. I'm just gonna stick the whole thing in my mouth. That's good too! What the heck? <laughs> am, I, am I a vegetarian now? Just kidding. That's, this is really good. Is that what vegetarians do? They eat flowers? Yeah. Isn't that what vegans eat? Do not pass on this. Like Peter said, these items are only here until the end of the year, so come get this. There have been some changes inside of Ogus Cantina. If you didn't know, if you make reservations, you end up being at one of the booths, and the booths are like these big communal tables. And a lot of people have been complaining that they don't want to be at a booth with other families. So they've actually constructed these plexiglass dividers in the middle of the booth. <laughs> I thought they were for COVID, for the pandemic, but no, I've, I've been told that they're going to remain there because uh. people want to keep it separated. I mean, I get it. Yeah. Another thing I wanted to mention is when Galaxy's Edge first opened, it was the only place you could get the special mugs in Ogus Cantina. They have this Endor mug, they have this Porg mug, they have this Rancor beer flight. Now you can buy them on Shop Disney. I think they start at like 30 bucks or something like They're that. They're so, so cheap. So if you want to buy them, <laughs> you get the price. I think it's the price with the alcohol, but without the alcohol, but uh, you can get them online for Christmas. The last thing I wanted to mention is an Easter egg that I don't think I've ever pointed out before. In Ogus Cantina, there is a, a notice board in the corner, and it has all sorts of notices. It's all written in Arabic. If you use your data pad, 
the Disney Play app. You can translate the, Adab uh, the Arabesh to English. And one of those notices is actually looking for a mechanic for the Halcyon Star Cruiser, oh, cool. which is a Galactic Star Cruiser experience that's coming out next year. So We're going to be there opening weekend. Yeah, it's been there all along. <laughs> you just didn't notice that. It's kind of cool Easter egg. We'd like to say thank you so much to Soundcore by Anchor for sponsoring this part of today's video. Soundcore Life's P2 wireless earbuds have over 50,000 five-star reviews on Amazon, and they finally released a sequel the P3s. The Soundcore Life P3 wireless earbuds are the best sounding headphones that I've ever used. They are so stylish, so cute. I love that there's five different colors to choose from so you're not just stuck with the boring black and white. The earbuds themselves have over seven hours of wireless playback and then with the case, you get an extra 35 hours of power. We love to use these headphones, especially when traveling. I love to use them on the airplane because there's noise cancellation. Depending on the environment that you're in, it's different. So on the airplane, it'll block it out there. Say I was walking Gizmo and Pixel, there's a different setting for that as well. I usually fall asleep with my earbuds in my ears listening to podcasts. But when I run out of podcasts, one of the new features that I was not expecting to love is the Soundcore app has a custom white noise soundscapes where you can like create your own like just sounds to fall asleep to. So if Peter's snoring, which he does a lot, I could turn up the rain noise and it'll help me sleep. I don't snore, you snore. Soundcore is having a sale from now until December 5th where you could save $20 on these headphones. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and hit the description down below and click the link, get yourself a pair. As you know, we love Anchor products and Soundcore was the first company to take a chance on us. It means a lot to us that they're helping us get through this rocky time. Help support us by supporting them. And now, back to the video. Over in the marketplace at Cat Sokka's Kettle, they have a couple Life Day specialty items, including a potato hand pie. This comes tiki masala spice with mint cilantro yogurt sauce. And to me, it looks like a samosa. And we all know that you are a connoisseur. Of samosas. samosas. I am a connoisseur of samosas. I beat you to it. <laughs> yes. I don't think are I'm... you a connoisseur of potato ham pies? That's the real question. Is this a potato ham pie or is this a samosa? Uh, let's dip it here. I have a feeling this is going to be so good. Yeah. This is a samosa. <laughs> it's not too spicy. If you've never had a samosa, it's kind of hard to describe. It's like potato, curried potato fried into a delightful pocket of a, of a ravioli kind of thing. <laughs> you usually get them at Indian restaurants, but they're also found here on Batu, apparently. I'd give this a four out of five Peters. This is a solid choice. And you know what? I know that this is only here for Life Day, but please Disney or Oga or whoever runs this, this outpost. Please put some more like non-sweet items at Cat Sokka's Kettle. This is a great choice. Really like that. Another item at Cat Sokka's Kettle is the black sesame macaron. And this is a toasted macaron with passion fruit, buttercream, and sesame praline. This looks like a planet, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know if you can really tell, but like the specks on there, like it's like, there's gold and like, it's like iridescent kind of. It's almost too pretty to eat. Yeah. And this is like a thick boy. I don't <laughs> think I've ever had a macaron like this. Like normally, like you pay the price, like macarons aren't cheap. And like, they're usually tiny. Like this one, you're really getting your money's worth. So hopefully it tastes good. We saw the child eating a macaron in the Mandalorian. Yes, the child, you know, so he's got good taste. I mean, he likes the blue one, so we'll see if this one is good. I don't even know, like, like, how do I... Oh. Mm. Oh my God. What is that? I don't know. You find a black kyber crystal? I found the black kyber crystal. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. I mean, it tastes like passion fruit. That's like the dominant flavor that I'm tasting. This almost tastes like a Nutella, kind of just like crunchy little treat with sugar. This is freaking bomb. I'm surprised that like literally everything we've had so far today has been so good. 
and I'm, I'm doing it. And this gets another five out of five. <laughs> Did you expect anything less from me? Okay, well, there's some other merchandise in the marketplace, so let's go find it. We're here at Jewels of Beth. They have a bunch of new t-shirts, including this Black Spire Outpost t-shirt. I love I this love logo, and yeah. I like that on the sleeve it says BSO. I like how they do it for kids, where it's like the whole front side of the shirt. It goes like edge to edge. Yeah. Yeah, is that Doc Ondar walking around? Looks like it, huh? Then on this side, they got a Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run t-shirt. And this is the view if you're, if you're an engineer. And you're standing in the aisle, which you shouldn't be doing. Don't Sit do down. that. They do have a shirt for adults here. I think this is a ladies' cut. And look at that. It's like sewn-in patch. Yeah. Oh my god! You know what? This has got me so excited for the Star Cruiser merch because of like all this gold and stuff that I'm seeing. I'm just like expecting some really kind of like fancy merch there. Black Spire Outpost. I like that. I me like too. That. I like that it's like a uh, stitched design there. Yeah. For the first time in Batu, they were actually celebrating Life Day. Life Day is a season, like seasonal holiday, kind of like Christmas. It was featured in Star Wars The Holiday Special, which is a really bad thing that you should never watch. But part of it, it's, it's like a Wookiee celebrated holiday. They have these orbs that glow blue, and they wear these red cloaks. That's all you need to know. But they have a bunch of Life Day merchandise, including this one right here that has Rey with Chewbacca holding the orb. <laughs> I don't know why, but like, just like, look at his face. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, he's so happy. And he says, yeah. walk off into the stars. Oh, wow. What does the back say? Let's see. The back. Oh. Family, joy, harmony. Wow. It actually says the date. So in case you're wondering, it's on November 17th. We're a few days late, but you know what? You can celebrate it throughout the whole season. So this one's a unisex style shirt and doesn't have Ray, doesn't have BB-8, but it has Chewie there with this little orb. <laughs> and the, the walk off into the stars is still there, but it's like hard to see. Yeah. I love that like he's actually on Batu. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, he's on planet. Oh, mm -hmm. and it says the same thing. Look at this, the children's version of the cut. Of course it's the best. It has BB-8 and he's projecting the Life Day symbol. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. I wonder if, do you think it says joy, family, and... Harmony? Harmony on the back? Yes. <laughs> family, joy, harmony. Yeah, I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and they also have some patches. So if you want to get a Life Day patch for your bag, that's really cool. I oh, like yeah, it looks like the orb. It's like the same color as the orb. And I like how it says Life Day in Arabesh above and below. Look, what are these Christmas ornaments? Yeah, we need to get one of these. We do. So if you want to celebrate Life Day on Earth, you can put this on your Christmas tree. I like that it, I don't think that I like that it says Life Day on it. Like I wish, but I guess like if it was just this, like you wouldn't know. Yeah, if it was just that, I wouldn't buy it. But now you know that it's for Life Day. Yeah, I, need, I need it to say Life Day. <laughs> yeah, well, you got it. It says Life Day. In case you didn't want an ornament and you wanted an actual Life Day orb, they sell them here. It's actually kind of cool because there was a bunch of Star Wars fans celebrating Life Day back before this became like an official holiday here at Disneyland in the Disney parks. And they would make their own orbs. So it's kind of cool that Disney was like, you know what? Or is it is it greedy or is it cool that they're kind of like hmm, we can make money off of that? I want I'm like really curious how much this actually is. Oh, there's no price on it, so. So it's it's free. Yeah. Oh my God! Look at all these orbs. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Does it say anything on the bottom? Um, is this stuff like around around here? Probably says Life Day. I'm guessing in Arabish. And then it also says Life Day right there. Don't worry. If you're a fan of Starbucks and you're a fan of Life Day, they have a mug and a tumbler. And this is almost like the, the Been There, Been Here series. It's um, it's like the same size. And it has Chewbacca with this little orb. On the inside it says Family, Joy, and Harmony. And what I like about this is Starbucks is on there, but it's really kind of like hidden back there. So you almost wouldn't know unless you really looked at it. Yeah. And then a fun little fact about this, if you look really closely right here, you can barely see it, but in Arabish it actually says pass holder. So can you so, only be a pass holder to buy this? Here it's now called a magic key. Yeah. So I think this was made before the decision to make the magic keys. Well, duh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you don't have to have a magic key or a pass or whatever to get this. Anyone could buy it. I just think it's really funny because like, 
you would never notice it. Like it's so blended in there. But yeah. And then the tumbler. It's like the size of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. It has a little shiny orb. Yeah. Oh, happy life day. Drink your blue milk, everyone. <laughs> actually really playing that. You are awesome, sir. Thank you. I really love how, like, the first year Galaxy's Edge was open for Life Day, the fans kind of brought the celebration to Batu, and this year, Disney has kind of taken it on their own to celebrate the holiday. In the comics, Batu is decked out with decorations. Next year, Disney, we need the decorations. We need we need to go full on Life Day next year. Next up at Docking Bay Seven is part of the Life Day specialty food items. They have a pork broth noodles. This is roasted pork with angel hair pasta, bok choy, mushrooms, yuzu tomato compote, and a pesto takatsu broth. I wish there was smell-o-vision because this smells so flavorful. It looks just kind of like a ramen, except instead of using ramen noodles, I guess they're using the angel hair pasta. One of the things that the child, uh, Grogu, was telling me what he likes to do when he eats his noodles is he actually likes to cut it with a fork and a knife. So it makes it a little bit easier to chew. So you know what, don't come for me in the comments. If you got a problem, take it up with Grogu. He's the one who told me to do this, okay? To life day. Hmm. You know what? It kind of just tastes like elevated top ramen. I don't, I don't think it's worth the like $15 price tag. I feel like this might be the one flop out of everything that we've gotten today. Wow. It's good. The flavors are there. I just don't think, I don't know, it just like feels cheap to me. Like it feels like I'm, I love Top Ramen. You might say I'm an aficionado of Top Ramen. There are many a days where I would eat Top Ramen day after day after day. So don't get me wrong. If you like Top Ramen, you'll probably like this. Um, but you know what, I probably, probably don't think it's like a two out of five. I'm hungry, so I am gonna finish it though. That being said. <laughs> The flavors are there. It is good. It's just a uh, little disappointing for the price. The only place in Galaxy's Edge that hasn't really received new shipments is Doc Ondar's, Den of Antiquities. And to be honest with you, I've never seen this place this empty. Like, usually this place is packed with people. And it's probably because they haven't gotten any new lightsabers. They actually only have a few lightsabers in stock. And I think they were supposed to get this like Temple Guard lightsaber set. Sold online, sold out, looked kind of incredible, but like expensive. I do want to mention that a few months back we talked about how some of the lightsabers were getting discontinued. Like the Mace Windu lightsaber was discontinued. We thought we would never see it again, but on shopdisney.com you can now buy that lightsaber in a new packaging. It is like in a packaging that comes with a blade, comes with a stand, comes with a clip. And they also have like the Darth Vader and the Skywalker lightsaber. They sell for $219. So uh, maybe when lightsabers get retired from Doc Ondar's, they'll end up on Shop Disney. Over in First Order Supply, they have a bunch of new t-shirts. All of it's for like the 709, like a at, -AT and a black TIE fighter helmet. And then... This one's my favorite though. On the back, it says, protect the galaxy first order. I just love that. Cause it's like, protect the galaxy, but like be a bad guy. Yeah, <laughs> it's in universe. Yeah. I'm gonna breeze through this stuff cause I'm not sure how many people are interested in the first order supply merch. But this one says an Arabesh without equal. Actually, is that even Arabesh? Or is it an English no, that just English. looks... Just English that yeah, looks... Yeah, I was like, you wouldn't be able to read it if it was Arabesh cause we still don't know how to read it. <laughs> This long sleeve says defend the galaxy. And then the short sleeve above it says protect the galaxy. Oh, and it's the evil, uh, it's the little evil guy. Yeah, BB-90. I thought it was BB-8 for a second. I was like, what are you doing in here, BB-8? It's probably the coolest item in the store. Oh my God, I would buy that if it fit me. First order. Why is all the cool stuff for kids? Like these designs are so cool. 
And I like how it has like the metal embellishment on each of them. Look at this one. It says enlist and that's like rubber. There's so much new stuff in the store. I feel like everything is new. <laughs> yeah. Probably because we never come in here. I think it's a shame that a lot of the first order merchandise is just about stormtroopers because, you know, I like the bad guys, but I don't necessarily like the stormtroopers. You know, I want to have like Kylo Ren merchandise, Darth Vader merchandise. Over at the Resistance Outpost, one of the things that I was most excited to see all day today, I know that we've seen a lot of merch, but is this poncho. It is themed after Princess Leia in Return of the Jedi when they're on Endor with all the Ewoks and stuff. And that's one of my favorite looks. And now you can buy a freaking poncho thing. Is it a poncho? I don't even know like exactly what it is. Yeah. It's like, it's such like, so it, like it'll keep the rain off. I think, think so. Maybe? I'm not, I, I know whenever it rains here or in Florida, that you always see cast members in something that's inspired by them. You mean the citizens of Batu? yes. Yeah. They're always like wearing the coolest stuff and we've always wanted to buy it. And like, honestly, like, yes. I'm so tempted to buy this. It's so expensive though. It's like $100. But I mean, let's check it out a little bit. Hey, maybe you could wear it on the Galactic Star Cruiser. Oh my God, you're right, I could. And it rains in Florida. I mean, it rains on the Galactic Star Cruiser. <laughs> You're right, this would be a nice present. But, okay, so, it's got like these double hoods, and it's like a really nice, like, thick material. It even comes with a belt, and this little flap up here, which you could, you know, you could put, you put candy in there, or whatever you want. Or, or your iPhone, or, or your pad. Oh yeah, or your iPhone. Oh my god, it's like the perfect size. Why do I want it so bad? <laughs> it's so cool. I love it. And when you wear it, you like blend in with the environment. Like now I'm like camouflage. You can't even see me. <laughs> Wait, Ketra? I don't uh, see you. I'm right, where, where I'm right here. Oh, no, yeah. Okay, I got to try it on. I'm sorry. Oh, it's it's kind of snug on my head there. There's like a, sec back. There's like a security tag. What does it say on the back? It doesn't say anything, but it has like a kind of weird material. Does it look good? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Who did it better? Leia or Kitra? That is a huge hood. There's two hoods. <laughs> oh, wait, where, where did she go? It looks good. I mean, it's big. It's a poncho. It feels really big. I, I personally wouldn't wear it with the with the belt. I would take the belt off. Is it worth $100? Let us know in the comments below. Like, how would I even wear that functioning? Oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited to dress up for the Star Cruiser. We're going to look like this. I'm going gonna, gonna to have to have outfits with hoods. <laughs> oh my god. I'm a little too chubby for the a certain size so i put on a different size that was just a little bit too big i'm like in between sizes so i just want to see what the hood on this one the smaller size looks like feels a lot smaller that one i think looks a lot better that one it looks a lot better i think is the hood still like huge yeah <laughs> so I, think I mean you can pull you can pull this oh you uh, can't okay. oh no okay oh no no you can work with it <laughs> Why do I love it? I mean, it's pretty cool. The best part right? is the data pad pocket right there. No. Oh, wait. Oh, thank you. Thank you. She looked good. They said you looked good. She said I looked comfortable. Wait, what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> If you don't want that Life Day mug, they do have a Black Spire Outpost mug. I like how 70s I know. it is. I know. They also have a bunch of pins. This one has Pose X-Wing and you slide it over. And there he is. Awesome. And then they have a mystery pin set. 
and you can get all your favorite characters from the sequel trilogy and also Vi. When Galaxy's Edge first opened with their data pad functionality, everybody was wondering why didn't they come up with an iPhone case to turn your iPhone into a Star Wars looking data pad. People on Etsy ran with it. There's like tons of different creators that have created their own Star Wars data pad cases. But now Disney saw that and made their own. So they have a data pad case. And this is a case that you, you put your iPhone in and has all sorts of greeblies that you can kind of put onto the case. And it makes your phone look like it's in the Star Wars universe. Which is really cool. Only problem is this is for the iPhone 11, 11, uh, yeah, just normal 11. I have the 13 and I have the big one, so I don't think it's gonna fit on it. But maybe I could take the Greeblies and like just, you know, glue them onto like a bigger case. Another new item over at the Resistance Outpost is this Resistance Throw Blanket. It's this nice kind of fluffy, soft blanket. And on, you could kind of see what the design is. It, it's kind of cool. It has like, it almost matches this thing right here. <laughs> And it says BSO. Oh yeah, it says BSO for Black Spire Outposts. I'm trying to like, I'm like blind. Oh, it looks <laughs> like there's like resistance uh, symbols on there. I thought maybe like all around Galaxy's Edge there's like footprints of different animals and like droids and stuff. And I thought maybe that's what that was, but I think it's just like. No. Just like, like little, X-Wings and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, good guy stuff. Yeah. The thing I don't like is this is white. It's gonna get dirty fast. I know, it already like looks dirty. I feel like I'm like making it dirty just by holding it. So I'm gonna put it back. One thing you really don't find that much of around the outpost is Luke Skywalker merchandise. You can get a saber at Doc on Earth. You can get a statue at Doc on Earth. But aside from that, you don't see any t-shirts until now. In the Resistance Supply, they actually have a t-shirt that has old Luke Skywalker in the Resistance Rebel symbol and there's Princess Leia, there's Old Han, there's Chewie, and there's the droids from the sequel trilogy. It's kind of cool, but the problem is with this thing is it's the back of the t-shirt and then the front of the t-shirt. I don't know. I'm not sure if I, I like that. And also it has like these weird shoulder pad things. But it's cool that they're having more merch with Luke. It seems almost like sexist that the only Ray t-shirts you have are like on the feminine cuts. Like here she is in Black Spire and there's Vi. That's a cool looking Vi. And then up here, they have Ray and BB-8 on like a Ray-inspired red dress t-shirt kind of thing. I actually really like that one a lot. And then over here, they have another, this is more of like a resistance, like army-inspired resist. Oh, look at that hood. Oh. That's cool. Would you wear that? Yeah? And we can't give you an update about Galaxy's Edge without telling you about Rise of the Resistance. Back in the old days, you had to wake up early in the morning, try to get a, re a boarding group for the virtual queue, and it would go out in seconds. If you didn't get it, you couldn't ride it that day. Now it is a standby queue, and it seems like it's around like 90 minutes to two hours here in Disneyland. Over across in Batu East, times are maybe double that uh, because they have the lightning lane. We don't have the lightning lane yet, so I'm wondering if once we get the lightning lane, the paid lightning lane past Rise of the Resistance, is it going to take three hours to stand by Rise of the Resistance? I don't know, right now 90 minutes is not that bad. We've traveled off of Batu and made our way over to Tomorrowland because there's just a few more things that we want to show you inside of Star Traders. So this isn't what I was looking for, but they got gingerbread ornaments. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. That's not the child. That's old Yoda. And that's no Death Star, that's a gingerbread ornament. What is this? Can you explain this to me? It's cute. <laughs> Look at his little face! It's a little Christmas Grogu pillow stuffed animal. If you look really closely, you could see like the Mandalorian, I guess, logo down there. Like little symbol. It almost looks like an ugly Christmas sweater. It's the Mudhorn Clan. Yeah, the Mudhorn Clan, sorry. I was trying to think of what it was, but then I didn't want you to call me out is that I didn't know what it was, but. So this is interesting. I like it, I could appreciate stuff like this. Kitra, do you need these? Little Ewoks on a, on a sled. There's also Chewbacca and R2 are there, C-3PO. Oh my 
god, these are so cute. <laughs> Do I need these? They're so soft. Kitch is gonna be running around the house in that and the indoor poncho. <laughs> this is a brand new lounge fly backpack and it looks like you're jumping to hyperspace. And what's interesting about this is it's actually for pins. So this little area inside of here, you could well, you could store all your pins and then you could attach them here. So this could be decked out with pins. And I think this is like a little pin that they give you that says Star Wars. But this is so like, I we get sent so many cool Star Wars pins. This will be like a, a really fun thing to have to display your whole collection. Oh, oh, that's cool. It's the scroll. Which it's, one? Oh, A New Hope. Wow. That's really, that's a good idea. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like it too. Oh my God. This is a long time ago. Oh wait, yeah, this is a long time ago. Okay, Santa. The galaxy far, far away. Santa, if you're watching this, <laughs> there's been a very nice girl who's on the nice list this year. Her name is Kitra and she likes lounge fly backpacks and she might like this one. You know. Okay, I'll, I'll tell Santa that. <laughs> I found this new pair of Mickey ears, and what's fun about this is it lights up, and they battle each other. That's kind of that. That is cool, actually. It is cool, but this this is the type of ears that like really hurt your head, like they it like digs into your skull, so like <laughs> you really have to suffer for the force. I don't know why it's a force, but they hurt your head. There might not be any additions to the Creature Shop or the Toy Darian Toy Maker, but they do have this Tuka doll, which is seen from the Bad Batch, that you can buy. So now, now you can buy like a bunch of loft cats, you can buy Tuka dolls. It's funny how like popular that has become now. We want to say thank you to all you guys out there for all the support that you've been giving us. It's, it's really helped us get through the last few weeks. Um, and uh, it's, we're not back, back yet, but we uh, we appreciate it. Yeah, there was just so much like good looking food and fun merchandise <laughs> that we had to come check it out. We're actually here on Thanksgiving day, so it's been extra just like, we're extra thankful today, not that we wouldn't be thankful otherwise, but it really has meant so much to us. If you missed our last video to the Merriest Nights event here at Disneyland, put the video right over there. We want to say thank you to some of our Patreons, that includes... Lisa Bennett, Sean Robert, Keith Williams, and Michelangelo. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Thank you, citizen. Your loyalty is appreciated. Goodbye. Enjoy your day. <laughs>